Hello, welcome back to Serious About Salvage and another video on the channel. We are back today, finally, with the red ST180. I finally managed to find a bumper in colour. I didn't want to go down the road of painting a bumper for this because it's red, very, very hard to match, and you'd have ended up painting half the car to blend it in. Finally found one, paid more than I usually like to. I mean, it was 480, absolutely complete. It's, it's in very good condition a couple of marks but they all have but i usually pay 300 pound fully complete good condition so yeah paid over the odds for it really but i've been waiting months so we finally got it we can finally put this st180 back together and i gotta tell you i've said it a few times this is probably my favorite st180 i've ever done it's just the color race red it's such a nice vibrant red bright red i like it a lot and even though it's an early one 63 plate 75,000 miles it's probably my favourite ST180 I've done. I like it a lot. Right, I'll turn around, let's have a look what we've got and we'll get on with it. There she is. Like I said, I do like this colour. It's a lovely car. And with the Michelin Pilot Sport 4s all around, you know whoever's owned it definitely looked after it. I think the rear brakes are almost new, aren't they? They are new. It's been that long since I went around this car. The fronts are brand new. All them discs, you can tell just by looking at them. Look at the hub, how, how nice and clean it is. New brakes all around, great tyres all around. It's just a really nice car and you can just tell it's been looked after. If you haven't seen the previous videos, um, if I remember, I will put a link up in the top corner now. Because we did buy this as a non-runner, as quite often they do come as like that. It had some running issues when we did get it running, but it's a good watch, so have a watch. But anyway, today we have got our bumper. Check that out. In colour, original. That's exactly what I wanted. Perfect. Ignore the black bonnet. Red bonnet, again, in colour, perfect. Exactly what I wanted again. And we've got the headlights sat in here that I've had for a while. No broken tabs, great condition. This car is going to be perfect. It's going to be perfect. Throwing these parts on will take no time at all. They go together really quick, the front end of these cars. Done that many of them now. No, I'm inside out. <coughs> and then... <coughs> excuse me, sorry. So I want a good clean inside and out. I need to obviously give it a road test, see what it dries like. It hasn't been anywhere other than in and out the unit. So can't vouch for how it dries for yet, but looking at it, I don't think there's going to be an issue. Um, MOT wise, I will have to have a check. I can't remember what the current MOT on it is. But I mean, we've had it for, I would say at least eight weeks. I just don't remember. I would have checked when I bought it. I don't remember what MOT is on it, but I will check. But what a car, yeah. If I was to keep an ST180, this this would be the one. But you know, that they get pinched that much. I mean, it's, it's, it's pretty safe around where we are, but I just don't know if I could be bothered with the hassle. Uh, but I do like them. They're a nice little car. They're a great little car. Right, what we're going to do first, I think we will, obviously we'll take this old bonnet off now. I'd, I've mentioned a few times, people always ask, why do I leave the old rubbish bonnets on? Reason being is these cars go outside quite a lot during the day and we have lots of rain around here. The bonnet just keeps everything dry, even if they are bent and crippled. Do you know, they, they just keep the bonnet area, they, you know, the engine bay dry, that's all. So they stay on until they've got the new one to go on basically. So we'll whip the old one off. I think I'll put the headlights in, we'll go with the bonnet and then the last thing we'll do is we'll slide that bumper on. Very easy, um, headlights literally fix in there, there'll be a fix in there when I take that out, that's the old tab, and then they just clip into that. You've got the one plug, two minute job. Bonnet, you've got to obviously disconnect the washer jet holes from the first washer jet back here. Um, just unclip it off these, and then you've got two nuts there, 10 mil, two nuts there, 10 mil. We'll throw that off. The new one, if you try to line up the nuts with the paint marks, there'll be a paint mark there. 
um, generally they're pretty close. That'll be the bonnet run. Bumper. Um, it's a bit more tricky when you've got the splash guards in <coughs> because the fixings are from in the wing downwards like that. That is one of them still left in, but there'll be three. So you, you can do it. It's a bit tricky. You need to just undo a bit of the front of the splash guard, put the steering to the side, and you know, yeah, it's a bit of a it's a bit of a faff around, but it's possible. Obviously, fixes to your splash guard. Uh, we need to take this off because we've got it on the bumper, and then under here. There's like just little forks, like three little prongs stick into that under tray. There's no actual fixings. Um, but it, yeah, it'll go together really quick. Uh, so happy, we can finally put this together. So let's, um, let's make a start. There we go, first stage complete. Headlights are in and they look great. I think these are possibly the best condition headlights I've actually ever bought second hand. They're absolutely immaculate. You could mistaken, be mistaken for saying they just come out of a box brand new, directly from Ford. They're absolutely perfect, there's not a mark on them. Beautiful. Same with this one. Absolutely immaculate. Very good. Right, bonnet. Um, yeah, bonnet. Let's do the bonnet.
and that is stage two complete went on actually very good that bonnet very little adjustment needed um the gaps are pretty much perfect all looking really nice and even on both sides very happy with how that went actually yeah nice and even gaps i like it i like it i do like working on these fiestas i know i'm probably getting a bit boring for the channel now I've done lots of them but they are really nice and easy to work on it's a doddle so the bumper yeah might be a little bit more tricky <clears throat> just getting them wing fixings in so what we'll do is probably we'll, we'll sit it in place let it make it look nice and then i'll probably just get on with all the fixings um off camera so there's not too much time lapse <coughs> but yeah let's continue <coughs> let's get this bumper on There we go so that's now just sat on i mean there's no fixings in there and it butts up beautifully fixed across the top and it's clipped in at the bottom but again no fixings in there and that's looking pretty good uh, i'm very happy everything's lined up well really well you put them in there Jump to that. <clears throat> Some of like that. Yeah, it's good. Lovely with the headlights. Both sides. Nice. It's good stuff. Um, right. So yeah, now I need to. I'm gonna have to jack it up to give a bit more clearance between the wheel and the arch. So I can get my hand up there and get the three fixings in both sides do up the splash guards on the front um, make sure I remember to put the bulbs in the spotlights and yeah it's good isn't it do we have a number plate so we don't want to be road testing without a number plate um, I don't know I'll have to have a look if, this, if it's on the, on the, on the bumper it might be because the bottom of it wasn't damaged was it it's not in the boot no okay i'll have a look for that shortly but yeah bumpers on looking good just need to tighten up all the fit put all the fixings in tighten it all up and um it is looking good very happy right i will continue for a little bit get all this all tightened up and how i want it to be and we'll come back for another look and uh, see what else we need to do right there we go looking great we did have a plate on the other bumper i like it all lines up really well looks good it does looks nice right this car hasn't ran for probably five to six weeks i guess so obviously the battery is flat let's see i'm sure i bet it just starts up straight away work really well uh, 
give it a boost. Let's have a go. Oh, 70,000. I thought it had 75 on it this for some reason. It started literally as if it had never been turned off. Very nice, very nice. Battery lights on, I presume, because the battery's completely dead. So we'll see what happens with that. 70,000, all right, it's not as bad as I thought, as I remembered, I thought it was 75. Very nice. Will it stay running? Yeah, of course it will. Alternator's charging. I bet that battery light will go off pretty quick. Check that out. Check that out. Great car. We got a parcel shelf? No, we haven't. I uh, haven't noticed that. Well, it's ready for its road test, isn't it? It's ready for its road test. I think I'll um, take this with me just in case. It might be wise. And uh, yeah, I'll nip it down the road and um, see how it performs. But I mean, it, it looks good. So. Uh, like I said, as far as I remember, driving in and out, it felt really nice and solid. So there's no reason. Sounds so good, this engine as well. It really does. Right, I'll give it a road test and um, I'll check MOT and I'll come back shortly with an update. But yeah, great, great progress. We went back from a test drive and I mean, you're not going to be surprised to hear, it drives just as well as it looks. It drives absolutely flawlessly in all fairness. If you drove this and you drove the 23,000 mile ST200 back to back and didn't know the mileage on them, you'd know, you'd, you'd think they were the same car. And that's not because that drives like a 70,000 mile Fiesta, it's because that drives like a 20,000 mile Fiesta, it drives really well actually. Very impressed. I like it, I've said that many times. Um, MOT, it is MOT till July, but I mean it's knocking on the end of February. So it's got five months. Uh, I'm inclined to put one on it. And I think I'm gonna do that for the sake of 35 quid. I have no doubt that this will go straight through. The brakes feel great because they are literally brand new. Um, there's no knocks, there's no bangs. The clutch has got a great biting point. I'm, I'm convinced this has been very well looked after and anything it's needed on its actual due dates has been done. I'm convinced of it. I'm sure we've done the oil and filter already on this, uh, but I will look back on the videos just to make sure, but I'm sure we have done. I'm sure of it. So now, um, today is Saturday. So what I'm thinking, I'm going to clean this up now. I'll get all these marks off, polish it up clean it in and out and we're going to finish this video right here right now the side skirts i will have to stick on overnight they will go back perfect so they won't be stuck on before the end of this video but yeah we'll give it a clean in and out see exactly how it's going to look and then yeah if we'll finish this video i'll get mot done um monday probably and if for any reason there's any problems, I'll update you in a future video, but I don't, I don't think there's gonna be. This drives great, it really does. I'm, 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 on, I'm, on, I'm in two minds to keep it, you know. I really am. I love the colour, my favourite colour is red. I'm a Man United fan, but don't hold that against me. Uh, my favourite colour is red, this is a beautiful red. Beautiful red, I really am fond of this car. But, can't keep them all and I, I like keeping a lot of stuff, don't I really? I've got a lot of cars, so these must, it has to go. 
So yes, I'll get it clean now, in and out, and then we'll have one final look at it. I've no doubt it's going to look absolutely stunning. And then we'll wrap this video up and we'll finally finish the red, racing red, race red Fiesta ST180. And there we go. Nice and clean. It's come up well. Nice and bright red. And yeah, like I said, I'll, I'll stick that side skirt on tonight before I go home. Um, nothing really to tell you. Everything's gone fine. The battery is coming back to life as well. Um, when I first started it up, it had a state of health of 12%. It's up to 68 now. So the cells are coming back to life by uh, draw, letting it charge and leaving it running. Uh, the telltale will be, or it's like I said, it's Saturday today. On Monday when I come back in, um, I'll check it again and see if it's declined. Uh, and if it has, then not to worry because I have bought a battery anyway. There's one there. So, yeah, if it, if it comes back down over the weekend and doesn't start, then I'll just throw the new battery on, really. And probably a good one. It's come up well inside, nice and clean again. It's all right. It's good. It's a nice car. The only bit that didn't come up too well is the boot carpet's a bit... Um, not, not the best. It's still a bit dirty. I might have another go. Yeah, but the rest of it came up well. I don't think I've got a parcel shelf anywhere for it, unfortunately. No. No, no parcel shelf. No spare parcel shelf. If I can pick up one local somewhere, I will do. If not, then um, it has no parcel shelf, basically. There's a few marks here I need to just polish off. And fingerprints here. My fingerprints. Just want the buffer running across that bonnet just, just quickly, just bring it back. But the rest of it, very good, very good. So the S is it. The ST180 is finished barring um the mot which are, like i said if anything comes back as a issue i will um i will let, let you know but um otherwise we're done and we can take this one off and it can go um and make space for another so thank you as always for watching i hope you've enjoyed this series on this red st180 like i said one of my favorites if not my favorite st180 it's the, it must just be the color it really does make it pop that little bit extra. Uh, yeah, my favourite. Right, thank you as always. Massively appreciate it. Don't forget a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. And don't forget to make sure you subscribe so you are notified of all future uploads. And I will see you in the next one. Cheers.